we reached the climax, y'all. Announcing our climax tour. We are going to be going all over the country and Canada, East Coast, Midwest, West Coast, South. Mandy's going to tell you all about how to secure your tickets because I'm telling y'all, you don't want to let this sell out. Y'all heard it right. We are hitting 16 cities for the official Climax Tour brought to you by Horrible Decisions. Y'all do not want to miss out. Our patrons will have first dibs Tuesday and Wednesday to purchase pre-sale tickets with a special code given out only on Patreon. And tickets will be available for everybody this Friday, April 28th at whorehive.com. You do not want to miss out. Tickets are sure to sell out. And we want the Whore Hive present loud and proud. Now, again, tickets go on sale this Friday, April 28th. See you there. Now, let's get to the show. Uh, oh, no, bitch. Uh, welcome, guys. <laughs> I'm comfortable. Uh, horrible decisions. Oh, I'm Moni, because, girl, we got a fine girl in the motherfucking studio with us today. I Y'all, welcome it. to another episode of Horror Blade. This is Yones. I'm your girl, Mandy V, aka Pet the Stallion. What's up, y'all? I'm Wheezy. We're in LA. And what comes with LA is some very special <laughs> guests. Hoes. You know, it's crazy because, like, Y'all are friends, but you probably don't know this, Havana. Like, out of, I, I think maybe even where you Can you introduce you. before you just tell her you Wait, used give to me a jack second, off? Mandy. Let me talk. <laughs> I am so excited to even see you sitting here because, like, Aww. I am a really, really big fan of you to the point where, like, I remember when I got my tits done and I was like, Can I have a Vanna Jimmer <laughs> areola? Y'all know her? Wait, you asked for her areolas when you got they your tits done? They were like, We don't do that. <laughs> you don't know how many times. People ask me if I surgically had them that big. They're iconic. No, um, you're iconic. Yes. I'm going to tell you what porn was to me in the age of learning my sexuality. Which actually, wait, it was Capri style say- Chinese tattoo bat. Yes. Oh, yes. Capri it was style yeah, era. Capri style, yes. Havana ginger nipples. The best era. <laughs> right? And I would say Pinky's hair. But it was just that era of like these was- little things where I knew someone was in a scene. Mm-hmm. So, yes, we have Havana ginger, the I don't know if the Jenna OG. Jameson would be the white people's. A Jenna Jameson would be the white people's. Yeah, I think you're our, you're the people's choice. You're the people's <laughs> choice of like definitely uh-huh. early 2000s porn stars. Yeah. Like I made sure to even emphasize when I was writing this that like you were in the era of yeah, the there star. Was actual of, like there were actual porn, porn stars. Porn stars, yes. And they're not. And we didn't take that lightly. There really? were actual no, it was a good thing to be a porn star and actually, you know, like be a star because there was a lot of girls doing porn and then there were porn stars. Yeah. Because, you know. Not everyone it, got the star title. No. What, were, what made a star? Was it a contract yeah. girl? What made it a porn star, a porn star back then? Because today it's a girl that's with a network and not on OnlyFans. I mean, there were contract stars. I don't think there's even contract stars anymore. I don't oh. think that exists anymore. I mean, If it doesn't. Vivid, but, but vivid girls, or though, right? Wicked. Um, they've had a few Ebony girls, but, you know, that was a long time ago. I think even before I got in, like in the 90s. So that's how long ago I think it was. So you never were like signed to somebody? I was the first girl to be signed to an agency, like a porn agency. Really? LA Direct Models was one of the big porn agencies that had all the named girls. And I was the first That's so cool. Yeah. porn star to be a contract star for the agency. So I had like a contract with him. He bought me my boobs. He, cre- he bought your boobs. It was somewhat, <laughs> that's when Havana Ginger was created. Because I got into the business under a different name. So my real... F- True fans that go way back, they're like, they know Mika Brown. Oh. So. I don't even know you was Mika Brown. Yeah. Who came up with that <laughs> name? Girl, what, what is a Mika Brown? <laughs> Maybe I've seen something like that. The one name that comes to mind, and I wanted to ask you this question today, is Savannah Ginger really your sister? Yeah, that's really my twin. Oh, wait, I have. You know that. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, wait, we had lunch in my twin. End. She's my twin. twin sister. We shared a womb. <laughs> We're not identical, obviously. That's but fucking crazy. We're really Because I remember twins. being like, they look alike, but that must just be a fun play on names. Yeah. that It, it was funny, too, because I had a lot of- younger sister because it was after? She is the younger twin. <laughs> I'm like, she is the younger, but um, 
she never wanted to get into the business when I was like getting in. It just wasn't her thing. But like she was very sexually open and like, you know, doing all this stuff for free. And I was just like, girl, girl. like get into the business, like get paid. What are you doing? Like. And she just was on her own time. So eventually, afterwards, yeah, she ended up. Because that's what made me think she was younger. Because I would see this era of Savannah Ginger, and I was like, it came it, it, it it came came way after, like almost when I was really not shooting. What's it like being? Because today there's such an overload on porn. Or I guess I want to say. Famous girls that are in sex work or OnlyFans or whatever. What's it like? A lot of sex back workers. Then? <laughs> a <laughs> lot of sex workers. A lot. But back then, going to a grocery it was, store. It was super taboo, though. You have to, like, it was super taboo for girls. Like, I've always been super shout out and open about everything I did, and I was never really ashamed of it. So I used to get, it was like frowned upon, like, oh my God, how can you just be so, like, okay with that? A lot of girls would hide it. They would never, I never lie. People ask me what I do for a living, and I always say, I suck dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I suck dick. You know, like, I'm a sex worker. And they're just, oh, okay, next subject. But Were you living in L.A. at the time, Miami? Like, where was the place for porn back then? L.A. I'm from L.A. Um, it was so crazy how I got into the business. I was working in Hollywood at a sex shop. <laughs> Of all really? Things. really? I was working in a sex shop. Really the only job I've ever had other than porn. That's wild. I was working at a sex shop. I was probably like 18, about to be 19. And a lot of the porn girls. Do you remember Belladonna? Yes. Oh. I was in love with Belladonna. Belladonna used to come in the porn, the store and like buy her movies and toys and things for her shoots. And I used to just be like, oh my God. I never thought I could be a porn star because I was very shy and like kind of a prude. And I just wasn't very. You were very, 19. I can't. Yeah. I, I wasn't comfortable with myself yet. And um, a lot of the girls would come in there. Belladonna just, I remember her because her scenes were like insane to me, you know. And um, I kept running into porn people. Like I just kept running into porn people Not everywhere. Who did you girl? Everywhere I went, <laughs> I ended up dating this guy, and um, he was like, "Yeah, uh, I want to start doing porn." And I was just like, "I don't know about doing porn." The guy you know? said he wanted to start doing porn. Yeah, and he was just like, "We're gonna do porn," and I was just like, "All right, fuck it, let's do porn." And that's really how I how did got. It start? Was it like on a tripod? And did he become a porn star? Like, yes. who was it? Do we know? Yeah. Can you share who the who the hell is this man that brought you into porn? Uh, Justice Young. Wow. Okay. Porn name. Wow. So, yeah, I really he, must know the era. Of the, <laughs> yeah. Just, so that, know. that, um, we kind of got in the business together and like, I guess, yes, career, it was, it was, career, it like, was the era of, his. you know, he was the cameraman and we would find girls to shoot with. We go get tested, find girls to shoot with. And then like, it was kind of like. Really like renegade shooting like <laughs> porn, what like was distributing your own porn back then. Like, cause right now all you gotta do is upload on OnlyFans, you get paid. Like, how do you become it was not <laughs> this is from the era of still like VHS. So like when I got into the business, it was like we were getting out of VHS and going into DVD. DVD. So that's how long ago, which, you know... I'm you like, having to burn your porn on a DVD and then distribute it out the trunk of your and car? And you would have to like? get... Well, you would have to get, like, distribution deals through actual porn companies, get a deal through them, and they would, you know, distribute your so videos. So they would, like, buy or, it, like, almost like... A yeah, they would buy it, actually, yeah. What was the price of something like that? It depend on... I mean, back then, the budgets for porn were huge. Because <laughs> now... Huge. I, they were real... We would have makeup artists. We would have... We were. That's why we were, like, real stars. We would have catering. We would have... Oh. Um, like a real TV set. Movie we set. would have, yeah, like a, we would have wardrobe. We would have, like, we just had to show up. Come on, talent. Now? <laughs> we were just talent. <laughs> yeah, we just had to show up. Sometimes a lot, I was in a lot of, um, they called them features because yeah. they came with a, stri a, a script. So, and then the ones without script where it was just like you're on the couch and uh, you just start, that was gonzo. So I did a lot of feature films, I guess, you know, back then. We I had told to, you you got an IMBD. I what said, is that? I said, let me look up. Girl, IMVD is crazy. Is you have a whole. <laughs> and IMVD is basically a profile for anybody that's in the film or TV industry yes. to find their credits. 
Oh, Girl, wow. And if you go on here, your credits. I guess I've been on. in a lot of film, you, you know? Did you think, <laughs> hold on, y'all. I went down because I was like, okay, let me see if I know any of these. It literally goes, it lists, attack my black ass, titty attack, crack that ass, Operation <laughs> Tropical Stormy, ass fuckers oh, three. Yeah. License to blow four. Real big Afro tit 17. <laughs> and and let me just <laughs> say something. <laughs> they never they never told us the names of these <laughs> movies or never gave us titles before we were shooting. We just got hired to shoot. And then you come out in a movie like two hoes and a bro. You know, like, I'm like, I wouldn't agree to do it. Fuck my four. Here's oh, yeah. One. I remember oh, yeah, that one. Up. Oh yeah, loca. Oh That's yeah, bad. hot Latin pussy adventures. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Latina fuckholas. Oh, I remember that, that one. That's crazy. <laughs> Wait, tell me one that you were like, oh hell no. This yeah, ain't is it. there one that you that was named and you were like, what the fuck? It was more, just more like the racial one. I was just gonna say, was it? Racist? Oh, okay. It was like the racist stuff that Bang like Latin hoes. Like, I would, like that one, right? Uh, that one doesn't bother me so okay. much. What about like I've seen a porn with you where. They called you a maid where you weren't even a maid. Like, <laughs> like seriously. That was, so when you said racial, like, I was oh, literally, I remember. I think th- it was la, like, la, that series was like Latina maids or something. Or I did was do a series. Was that Dog Fart, the company? That company did a lot of racial Racist stuff. Shit. So you know ah. how I know. I'm a fan of Bukaki porn. How interesting. And, I've never done that. Oh, well, I know. So, <laughs> So she's like, that's where I didn't I'm like, no, I, I, I I've never been. if I see you in a you game. You've never had hella men just nut on your breast? Not my thing. Oh. One thing about me, I never wanted to shoot anything that I wasn't actually into. So oh. everything I've actually shot, and I think that's the difference between girls now that just shoot content and, you know, back then. They were actually like into it. It was like real sex. That's you know, we were perform- we were these. performing, but it was like the art of porn. It was really an art. Like, I don't feel like it's no more art anymore. You seemed always to be, and it's interesting that you just said, and I think it tracks, obviously, because you said, I've never been ashamed of what I do. And like, you seemed like one of the girls, I remember Marie Love always seemed like she was having fun doing porn. You like- A lot of, I could, uh, Jada, uh, Jada, Jada Fire. I feel like a lot of girls from that era really enjoyed, like they enjoyed- Doing scenes. And I you mean, know, maybe they treated you, maybe that also has something to do with it. You come on a set to be the star, it's fucking exciting. They treated you, they did, the everyone, they were like hyping you up. So when you got in front of that camera, you was just like, I yes. Think, I think also I, the porn stars during that era, it was also the time of the video vixen. Oh, yes. Like realm. Oh, so yeah. The way that men respected and just fawned over. Porn stars. I have and, some of the best and fans. And because it, it makes. Yeah. It did you ever you do a video? Celebrity videos. I did. I was in um up in this club. Usher. It, oh, Usher. I was like one of the background. I, I did do a few uh music videos. I can't remember all of them, but yeah, I I I rather do porn because it it, it didn't was more money. <laughs> it was more money and it didn't last as long. Like I could be you know in and out and. <laughs> and come right and then music videos it was cool to say you did it for the experience but they would be like all, all day. day long wait 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 i really do want to know about the money because so many girls are millionaires now from only fans and i did an interview with vivid recently where he told me that the highest they paid even their feature stars are 2500 for a scene 3500 for a scene? 3500. So back then, that's the highest I heard back then, but they're not paying that now. They're not even paying nothing close to that. Wow. But again like 1200. Back then, and no the residual, rule no. was okay, like we had a standard rate, standard boy girl rate was 1000, right? Please break this down. Hold on. A, a standard boy girl rate for a female we're getting, the men are not getting that. As a female, you're getting 1000 for a boy girl rate. Every year that you stay in the business and you're still like hot because that didn't last, you could charge an extra thousand dollars. So that's really kind of how it went. So, so like you, the, the more the max, you're right. And the more I guess people wanted to see you. So and how have did you, you make in there good money then? What was it coming from doing the strip clubs back then? Like doing the I remember all the time, like I would say I like, used to feature dance. I mean, there were but you gotta see, here's the thing. 
And I feel like, not to talk shit about the girls, girls nowadays, too, they're lazy because it's, them it's, right. it's easy. It's easy for them. We were shooting any, how we were making money, we were shooting anywhere from 15 to 30 times a month. Shit. And sometimes we would shoot two or three scenes in a day, depending on, you know, like me. It's crazy because I, it was hard for me to get in the business, girl. Like at first, no one was shooting me because of my tits. No one Wait, was shooting Wait, the ones that me. you bought or the or the ones before? Before. No one really? would shoot me because- Because of your areolas? That and because my boobs were saggy. Because really? I had saggy boobs, I breastfed. So I breastfed for a year. I had saggy boobs. Or like, I remember I went into a, because they call them go sees. So you go in the company. They're like, okay, you go in there. You take this off your like clothes. like America's Next Top Model? Yeah. You go in there. There's a guy sitting at a desk. You go in there. He's like, okay, take your clothes off. You take a picture front, back, side. Okay, we'll call you. So you will go on go sees. I had a dude that owned a company was like, your ear, your 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 boobs, they look like dog ears. No. Years later, years later after this, he hired me and <gasps> you know, he was and I wouldn't shoot with him, wouldn't shoot for him. Finally I just shot with him and I was like, Do you remember? You know, I was already in my prom. Like, do you remember when you told me da 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 da? And he was just like, No, oh my God. And you know, it was totally different. But yeah, they're mean, ruthless. Wow. Mean. Who, wow. Who's been some of your favorite porn stars to work with, OG porn stars? Oh, there's so many. Um, Mr. Marcus. I love working with Mr. Marcus in the beginning of my career. We did a lot that's of a scenes. Old, that's a big old dude. We, we did a lot of scenes together. I loved it. Dude, we just, it was the chemistry. I love working with Jada. We always did really good. See, Jada Fire. He um, did some with Le Lex Steel as well. Yes. Woo, he used to make me work, girl. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Like, get on top. No, like he just so big, like <laughs> he was just so big, like his, I did great scenes with him too, but he used to make me work. Like I'd have to go in there, like psyche myself out. Like <laughs> that, that's the dick, okay. that dick, I don't even want, <laughs> man. Not you jumping in, jumping, like. It's I agreed to do, <laughs> you know, did you back do then, again? back then I considered myself the anal queen. I could take any dick with no lube, just spit on it. Yeah, girl. <laughs> And, oh, I did it. <laughs> but they're like, okay, Lex wants to book you for an anal scene. Sure, I could do that. No problem. I didn't know what Lex's dick looked like. And I had met Lex, but I didn't know what his dick looked like. <laughs> Look at it again. <laughs> Look, you got to put when, it up. When I got... Oh, man. When you got there and saw it in person, I, and you couldn't back out. I couldn't. Oh, and I didn't. Okay, but what was your booty like the next couple of days after that scene? Like... Could you shit? I don't like. Did, how long did it take for your booty to get back to normal? Back then, it used to snap back, girl. <laughs> back, <laughs> back then, back then it used no, to. Wait, <laughs> so, how old were you when you first got into into porn? I was nineteen. Nineteen, and at what age did you stop? And then, if you ever got back in it, like, what were the different phases of porn or sex work for you? Mm, I stopped like around probably like twenty five, twenty six. That's a long porn career. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I mean, I haven't even, I won't even say, like, a lot of girls be like, I'm retired. I don't say I'm retired because if I want to go and do porn tomorrow, I will if I decide to. I haven't shot since, like, 2018. Um, you do start to see, like, it was, when I got in the business, all the older women that were, like, from the 90s and before, and they would always tell me how different it was. And Yeah, we we got to sit with Cinnamon Love. Oh, and she, nice. Like, Lisa Ann, Ann as well. Oh, okay. And both of them, like... They came from a different era. Yeah, even uh, you, even right. Was about putting the newspaper as a quarter in the uh, a quarter in the peep show type of shit. She don't even see that. Oh, yeah, it was crazy. It was sin, right? Sin, sin, cinnamon love. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I know she doesn't. She yeah, doesn't seem that old no, at all. And when so she when you was hear talking it, about like, porn during then, especially though as a woman of color too, oh, it was yeah. like the treatment of of mm. that. Did you even did you yes. experience that as well? Yeah, the porn industry is racist. It's definitely racist. We've been hearing that. I, I passed the because, yeah, I passed because I was, you know, lighter. I could, I could uh, be both. What They're like, oh, we could, uh, that was like a thing. Like, oh, we could put you in Latin and we could put you in the ebony. So, you know. 
What really? Yes, it's it's definitely a thing that they don't like to talk about, but the industry is very racist. Wow. When not surprising. When you right. like um coming up cuz now there's so many like I know King Noir and Jazz, they like own their own uh, production companies. Like who was the first person you saw that like broke out of like the white company type shit and started making their own shit? I think Cherokee or Pinky. Those were the two. I like just- as a performer? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, Cherokee. Well, Pinky started like Pinky. I think Pinky started first. She had her own. She did those like thirty people gangbangs. I remember so many people. I mean, (laughs) a a lot of the the girls, a lot of the girls. Sarah J. She did did something. Yeah, like that. She did something crazy like that too. I mean, more power to them. But I just. (laughs) What's the most dicks you've ever taken on film or in private? (laughs) On film. I don't think it was that many. I honestly okay. don't. I think it might have been like three or okay. maybe four. But I think the four, there was like other girls in the scene. So it was like we kept kind of swapping around. Sharing them. Yeah, okay. it wasn't. Okay, so you could break up the D. Yeah, exactly. You, you gotta, it wasn't. You got to break up the D. Shit. I, I don't know. I'm a, more of a one-on-one person. I'm a I lovey, I'm a lovey dovey. Oh, I'm curious. Out of, what percentage of your orgasms on scene are real? All of them. Really? Oh, that's amazing! Oh, <laughs> all of them. <laughs> oh, I know. I, like, I, you really I always, them. I always come. I just feel like, even if I don't necessarily like the person that I'm working with, I'm still going to enjoy myself and still like, I'm still gonna come. What's the point of it? Do you fuck people? Like, is it normal to like fuck people off? Like, do you ever have really good sex and you're like, damn, I gotta see this nigga again? Have I ever fucked someone after the scene in the shower? Yes. Really? <laughs> but like after we leave set, no. It's weird. It's like I can really like cut it, cut it on. And yeah, off. It cut it on and off. Like it's easy for me to like, okay, that was fun. And then just leave it at that. Like, oh yeah, we had a really good scene. Like I don't fall in love with good dick like that. Like when it's attached to Come work, on, powerful. When it's attached oh, to work, when it's attached say- to work or money, I don't know. There's some like a switch. It doesn't even. It could be the greatest. It that's just, why your career was long. No, because a that's lot of how we well, know who you well, are. And a, and a lot of women actually have a problem, <clears throat> like not being distracted or falling in love because a man just gives you good dick. Like a woman will be ready to cut their friends and family mm-hmm. off for some good dick. No, not. Uh, no. Oh my God, Lexington Steel's dick just popped up. See, no, that's bro. That it looks. Like I can't believe clean you out. It looks like I a can't fucking believe anima. you. When, that when shit you in your when ball. it says he's fourteen inches, he's fourteen inches. He is, and then that he's is like he's 14. like thick, like an arm, like my arm. You know, it's little, like a little arm, like mine. Like <laughs> nigga, no, no, nigga, no. I just said nigga, no. That that scene. That movie, I didn't win an award, but that movie won an award. So you won one, yeah, for being in it. But yeah, so. have you ever won an AVN? No, I've movies I've been in <coughs> have won. That's but wait, to me. why don't you not get the award? Then? Because the director gets the award. Bitch, I'm about to start directing yeah, for me. The director me gets the award. award. So That's me as crazy. me as a, well, you know, I never was like. In the in crowd, I never was like, you know, I didn't suck the right dicks. All of that, honestly, that's really politics. And I was, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't gonna suck dick just to suck dick. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no, you're right. What are we doing here? What are we like? I'm on. No, I'm not. Because you were so famous when you would date niggas, were they like hella excited because Havana Ginger was their girlfriend and they could show you off, or were they like, oh my god, my girlfriend's a porn star? Like, what was dating like back then? It was fun because they were always, I mean, back then, you know, guys, it was, you know, yeah, they were fans. They were young. So it was like an exciting thing. They actually, you know, embraced it. It wasn't like a negative thing. Like, oh my God, my girl's a whore. But (laughs) they liked it. I was like, it was fun. I had fun times. But it always becomes an issue afterwards. You Mm, know? When they start getting insecure. Yeah. And see that all these men. And it's like, uh, Sometimes I want to go out with you and just you not be approached or someone not say something or like, you know, when you're like in an intimate moment and some just a fan just can't help themselves and they're just like, excuse me, but can, do you mind? Can I get a picture or can I whatever? Do you ever say no? No. Me neither. If Same. 
if they're very polite about it and, you know, they do what they're supposed to do, like, I never say no. I don't think that people should be doing any kind of work that's front-facing if they are trying to say no. I have a friend that says no A lot of people do, famous. though, because they think they're fam more famous than they and are. It bothers mm. me so much, and especially when someone pours their heart out and that person will be like, sorry, not tonight. I'm like, damn, you know how hard it was for them to come up just now? Yeah. Like, unless I'm eating I food. See, I seen that the other day when I was out. They had security with them, and they were, like, shooing people away. Oh, I'm no. Like, that's so weird. Yeah, that's You're odd. out in a public place. You and know what I mean? you know that motherfuckers at, know with, your ass. At a regular bar with regular people, and then you bring your security to be like, no, 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 no. Just weird. Well, I, mean, I know I, someone like that, too. We got yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it <laughs> all. That's that like, LA shit. I, I do want to get into some kinky shit with your ass. I mean, okay. as if talking about porn wasn't kinky. I don't know I'm why like, I just mm -hmm, said that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I want the people to get to know you just a little bit more. So I have some icebreaker questions. Okay. And we're going to go through them real quick. One of them I'm going to ask off of here because you already said you don't really like too many dicks. You're a one, one dick oh, okay. type of gal. Yeah. So the first one is our main thing, just because we want to know where your mouth be. Would you rather eat ass or suck toes? Honestly, eat ass. <laughs> okay. Same. I'm I mean, I like both of them now. I'm real cute. We all, everybody I do both always of them. Uh, um, I like to, uh, yeah. If my man, of course, or whoever I'm messing with, I like women too, but whoever I'm with, yes. Okay. Because I, I know that's mine. Mm -hmm. I know, yeah. But oh, I, so you don't just eat everybody? No, no, no. Okay. Not just anybody. Women's ass is so much You're not a to casual eat. Eat ass eater. No, I'm not a casual. Okay. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> You're not a casual no, ass no, no, Okay. No. I got to get to know you first. Next one, for the fellas listening out there, this one's for y'all. Would you rather have a broke man with a big dick or a rich man with a little dick? Definitely a rich man with How a broke? little dick. How broke? Here we go. Um, below poverty. Oh, no. Oh, Mandy, no. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let's say 75K a year. Definitely oh, that's a, not broke to me. Definitely a rich man with- I, I And he got kids. So you got child support. I'm All right, not, little dick. And you live in LA. Little dick. <laughs> I'm not a size queen. Oh, you no. So you just talked about Lex Steel, Mr. Marcus. All, I feel you, like I think they I they feel like my my taste has changed. Okay. Back then I think I was like, I liked being the person like the little one that could take the I could still take dick, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but like now I just I don't want my pussy beat up like that. Mm. You know, I just had some really just, big dick a few days ago, and I was literally thinking to myself. Did you really? Mm. I was thinking to myself, like. Lucky you. <laughs> no, you in the middle of it, I was like, yo, like, is this sustainable? No. Like, could my pussy, like, my walls, <laughs> like, I remember when he came out of me, like, the way he had to pull the condom mm. off to, like. I just feel I, like I, you uh, can do more with. A small or average size. Oh, penis. average dick. Okay, what's I'm average? What, okay, fuck. now let's let's talk to the men. Now, what's an average dick size? What would five you and say? a half, six. That, that's average. Yes, six is average. Five and a half, six. Black men. That's average. Some that's black men. That. Honestly, I really don't think it it it, it, a, it does it doesn't. I mean, that's a myth. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> All black men do not have big. No, no, dicks. no. Not they don't. They, they don't. Do not. So, mo, mo, but you know, I've dated a lot of white men and they be having big, the biggest girth, I've ever seen big exactly the biggest, girthiest, most prettiest, yummy. It doesn't look like <laughs> the thing that comes out the dog? Girl, no. So, you need to, like, no. okay, mm -hmm. there needs to be a conversation about depth of the vagina. Not everybody's depth Everybody is the same. Everybody's different. So, I, I got a deep pussy. I have a deep pussy. I I, a my deep gynecologist pussy. told me I had a deep pussy. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yes. Wait. I was going for my checkup. <laughs> and, you know, they put the little click, 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 click. <laughs> so he puts it in there. And he got, you know, I guess a regular size one. And he put it in there. And he click, click, click. He's like, couldn't see whatever he was trying to get. He was like, um, you have a very deep vagina. I'm going to have to get the longer one. Pulls it out. Now he called you a no big pussy. I'm like, <laughs> no excuse way. me, sir. Yeah, in front of the nurse. He's like, oh, too. I know who she is. In, in front of the nurse, because you know, they gotta. if it's a man, they got to have the nurse in there. And I'm like, embarrassing. <laughs> like, this nigga just said, I got a deep ass pussy. Pulls out the bigger one so he could get back there and do what he got to do. Do you know how deep you are on the inside? 
deep as fuck because when I tell you that's literally what I say during sex I say them other bitches can't take all this dick can they <laughs> that's one of the things I say to niggas with big dicks I pride myself on like they, even they if can't, it hurts though. I take it my service no, is close a lot of bitches the... don't that's they why can't. I know that. this is why I know they keep coming back because a lot These of women dicks, have shallow shallow ass pussy yeah they got shallow pussy. Bitch, shallow pussy you... I take <laughs> I take my deep pussy with pride oh I take it all you put the balls in me nigga yeah, go ahead, put your red cup in there, Mandy. Shit. Literally, I, I mean, okay, I didn't say it was wide. I said it was deep. My pussy not wide. My pussy deep. I prefer girth over length. Me too. Me too. I don't, I want, I don't want a little pencil dick. No, yeah, no pencils. But I, I want it long No, no and noodles. Strong. <laughs> last one. Last one before we get to our vanilla shit. This is an, ice, uh, the, an icebreaker question posed by the Nick Cannon. Oh, okay. He said, if you could only choose one. This is for both of y'all. Would you prefer amazing sex with a partner who is not monogamous or a lifelong trash or lifelong trash sex with a faithful partner? Not trash, but I'll take vanilla. He said trash. He didn't say vanilla. He said trash. Don't be changing up Nick Cannon's work. Well, I don't feel like anyone is monogamous, so Ooh. I would take the good sex. <laughs> I, you would be on like, that. You know, Y'all like I just... Mm, mm, mm. Monogamy's overrated, so and I just... And it don't exist. No. <laughs> what's what's dating like for you right now? Are you monogamous, da- uh, poly, dating someone? I'm monogamous by choice just because, I mean, I've never really been like a promiscuous person. You know, I mean, in my younger years, yeah, we was, I think we was all wild, but like, <laughs> I just, I don't know. I'm a lover girl at heart, you know, hopeless what's romantic. Saying? I'm a Pisces. Oh, <laughs> <never said. laughs> Oh, we're not gonna pipe these uh, on the 17th of March. Oh, oh my I'm on February, February 27th. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Stars and moons. We had in our beginning of our show, Mandy and I got into this huge argument. Episode three. Libra, it, right? It, uh, yes. Yeah. But like, I love Libras, though. That's my Libra. problem. I'm attracted to fucking Libras. Oh, Libra, man. Bitch, I would never. Uh, I never did bitch, one. Bitch, I would never. No. Don't miss I'm like, don't. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not even stars and moons, but Libra men. I'm stay always away from attracted me. to Libra men they're for awful. some reason. They're good. Dude. They're great, mm-hmm. but they're, they're, they're lovers, but awful they're lovers. better friends. Yes, they're great friends. Yes. Why is the dick the problem? They have good dick. Yeah, they got good. Dick. I thought you don't believe they're this. Very sexual. I don't, but it, it, it be them they're, niggas. They're, they're if be ve- October niggas. I be like, mm, yeah, Octo- okay, they're very charismatic. Mm. They just mm, they say all the right things. They do all the right. I'm getting into my stars and moons. I won't do them niggas. I've been scarred for life. All my niggas in my early 20s, all Libras. <laughs> Bitch, the nigga I fucked at your house, the one that used to come over all the time. Fucked at my house. You, <laughs> you know I used to fuck him at your house. Started with a J, Orlando. Bro, I don't remember shit from when we were 15. Bitch, no, I wasn't 15. This is back when I was like 18, 19. And your friend fucked him too? And I was like, so bitch, you just gonna sit here and be friends with that bitch who fucked the nigga you know I be fucking? Girl, you know. I feel like that happens a lot oh, though. Oh, when look. you're young. Oh, that oh, one. Oh, no. I, I think that happens a lot when you were young. I know, we are we, we we shared a lot of dicks. Me I and my to, friends. I like to share them now. I mean, still. you know, now wait, you don't share dick now? Yeah, sometimes. Okay. I'm the friend that, you know, I'm so cool that they always ask me to have a threesome <laughs> with them because they know I really don't want that nigga. And I'm just, eh. <laughs> okay. I know. I was waiting for Please, you to come I to New York. A, I you're, need you're, a, you're <laughs> my last relationship, bitch. I was like, so when you come to New York, we, like, we, uh, I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that, uh, like, characteristics of personality like this, like being fun, free spirited, down to fuck, and shit like that, that a porn star should have that? Do you think that they should? Absolutely. There's nothing worse than like a porn star who's a fucking prude or like a bougie, like stuck up, like what? You're a fucking porn star, bitch. Or like any, like you shoot content, like or anything. You're OnlyFans girl or whatever. You know now it's a lot like, of OnlyFans girls. I mean, do have that attitude a bit. But here's the thing: those are not porn stars. Those are girls doing porn. They're entrepreneurs. Oh, or they're, that's the conversation we had on this couch or, the other day. Or they're doing. Oh, stop it. Stop it. There was a girl that came in who told us, she did she say, I'm not a porn star. I don't do porn. That's what she yeah, said. She said she doesn't I don't do, do porn. I do OnlyFans. I do, I, I do content. I create Here's content. Here's the thing. A lot of girls became porn stars during the pandemic. Yeah. So like me and my, we call those pandemic porn stars because <laughs> pandemic porn they would have never did that 
if everything didn't get shut down. Mm, they the last would, resort point. Yeah, they wouldn't have did that. That's and then it, the dick out of love. And then you get these girls, you get their OnlyFans, and they're not even fucking or having sex. I'm not going to lie. Do, they're not, you know how they're not doing anything. I've been subscribed to people because I now am definitely an OnlyFans supporter. And I'm so upset when I get on there. I'm paying my money. But what I do now is I subscribe for like two months or oh, three right. months at a time yeah. so I could see it first. The way they'll literally put up 11 second clips, 17 second clips. I can't rub one out. Who's nutting on they, that? They're not doing full <laughs> fucking Who's nutting on that? I can't. And nut. I like watching like yeah. amateur stuff. Me I can't too. watch like porn people's because I know them in real life or like I know, you know, the behind the scenes stuff. Like I would like watching amateur oh, stuff. Oh, I'm not going to lie. You know, back in our day, I saw, that's probably why I love Twitter porn now. I don't want to go back to watching the girls that I know in real life. I don't feel like it's, I don't want to. It's weird. I don't want to say you said behind the scenes stuff. What type of stuff do you know that fucks your head up when you're watching porn? Whether it be fake comings, the way they change shots. <laughs> it's like, probably ew. This is kind of gross, but nothing is um, gross. You're on horrible decisions. <laughs> there's no such thing as not shooting when you're on your period. Wait, there's no one such. There, so a lot of the scenes that you probably watch with girls, like your favorite scenes. They just, we, they would sponge it or, or uh, whoever. They would be like, you want. you couldn't cancel it. Like canceling a scene because your period came, unheard of. Like you would just sponge it. First day? Yeah. But what about if you were with someone? Bleeding, your heavy day. Yeah, you better put a few sponges in there. <laughs> Some, and that, sometimes, I, I mean, I brought sometimes that up. We, they would beautiful. have to cut. Because it would be a mess, you know, and we'd have to cut and clean it up. One time I had a scene with a girl and it was like, she did not what know Wait a second, you still had to eat pussy when there was blood coming out of it? I mean, it wasn't coming plugged out. Out. It's it's plugged out. It's plugged up. It wasn't coming out. There's a smell. Like, <laughs> was there a smell? And no, you no, usually, I mean... Girls were very hygienic. Okay. I don't know about these girls nowadays, but right. back then there oh, was kind of like, like little young. Oh, she, she had that, them. She's like they a little sorry. sour. They cute though. <laughs> <laughs> they cute, but I'd be like, mm, you know, I, wow. I feel like it's something that is also if it's never taught. Like if you just don't, you know, you're just jumping into something. Like you know, these things are taught. Are there any porn stars that you've like mentored and like besides your sister, I guess. I never really even mentored her. The bitch started doing it like without me. I'm just like, okay, whatever. But um, a lot of the young girls, I would always try to like give them tips on on set because for some reason there was a period of time where they would always put me with new people. Like it was their first scene. So I'd have to like coach them through it. And I would just, you know. What's the first day of porn work like? They're super nervous. Ah, Let's course. say it's an anal scene. They can't open up. So, you know, I'm trying to, I'm telling them tips how to take the dick. Like, you got to relax. You got to push out when the dick is going in. Like, you're going to go to the for bathroom. For anal scenes, are you going in, waking up and putting a butt plug in? Like, do you train your butt that day or the night before? Like Me personally? No, I never well, did. Okay, you okay. I never anal. did. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm gifted from She's God. Like, I, I never, but now, but... If I try to do anal now, girl, I think all those years of doing anal, like, I can't do it now. I no can't. Way. What's something somebody would be surprised at? Like, maybe whether it be, like, you love missionary or some shit. Like, what's something that would surprise people about you? I don't think it's a surprise, but, like, I like pegging. Like, I like pegging Bitch, guys. now, ma'am. How is that not a surprise? I'm fuck? like, I don't, th I mean, I most, and I like it, but. Oh, I got somebody here we could gangbang. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, why you ain't tell me you was into this? I thought you knew. Ma'am, I, I mean, it's not a secret, yeah, but... How is it not a secret? I have pegged guys on film before. Okay. That's why. But we don't know if you like it in your personal life. Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess you just said... I, I never... Do stuff that... Yeah, I never... Well, yeah, well, you wouldn't know that unless I said okay, it. Okay, so but. then, so then, in our hors d'oeuvre, I need two sex tips then. I would love to know how you approach somebody... Or go about pegging somebody for the first time. And then I also need a titty fucking tip from you because, duh. Um, but let's start with a pegging tip. They usually approach me. I ain't gonna... Yeah. Don't they? Yeah. Don't yeah. they? I've never... I've okay. never, I I've never, never to, approached... Not you look like you strapped. <laughs> <laughs> you look like y'all want it home. Maybe they literally watched your videos doing that then. Yeah, and then, you know, they come out of the woodworks. Like, you know, I've always wanted that to happen to me. And I'm like, oh, you... 
caught me by surprise. I, I never would have thought that. So then how do you prepare them if it's like their first time? Like what oh, do you I'm good at that? Okay. I'm, I'm good at well, making cause... them I'm good at making them feel you just gotta make them feel very comfortable, relaxed. How do you, you do that? You have to make sure that you have all the right tools, the lube. Mm-hmm. You know, fucking the ass is different from fucking a pussy because it's more sensitive. You have mm-hmm. to be more gentle. You can't just like fuck the shit out of an asshole. You I mean, gotta really... warm it up. So there has to be a lot of foreplay. You have to get them like super relaxed and I like to, I'm a kind of a little bit of a dom. So like, I like to slap certain muscles, like the, you know, the thighs and the chest and. You slap them. Oh, you slap them. Yeah, you slap like, them. That's interesting. You, you wake I them up. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> think of that You one. wake them up. That's interesting. Ooh. You know? Wait, yeah. but that relaxes them? It gets them more comfortable, yeah, to where they're, uh, they, you know. They know that they're subbing at this point. Right. Even just, Do you talk shit when you beg? Um... I do, but it's crazy because I like in my personal, like with my man or with someone I'm with, I don't. So but I've you, never, you, I've never, I, okay, pegging? I've never pegged anyone I've been in a relationship with. Me neither. Okay, so Same. yeah, that, I only peg men that it's just like yeah, sexual. that's that's right. Yeah, now, I don't peg men me that I'm in a relationship with. A lot of men with. ask this. Why? A lot of people ask me, could I be with someone that I pegged? Would I still have the respect? I get for asked them? that a lot. Right. So then. Mentally, why so have you, you not guys pegged both some, do that? Why have you not pegged someone that you've been in a relationship with? Usually they're never into it. So Same. like if they wanted to, I would. Like whatever you if you if you wanted to, I would. But yeah, I don't know. I get I, asked I, that so many times. Do okay, then when you have when you peg just someone It's not like I lose you, some respect for them, but like I'll, I don't know if I could Why? Like, see, we both get asked that I, question it's, a lot. It's a mental, a there's some type of mental block Maybe you there. don't want to be with someone you dominate. Is that it? I, Maybe. But do you, dom- you could dominate in other ways that don't include pegging. Are either. you submissive and in I, I'm, But also, too, I'm a switch. So I like to be dom and then I like to be, you know, submissive, submissive, too, depending on the mood of the mm. situation. So, like, I go back and forth. Usually when people dom or they sub, they do one or the other. They don't do both. So I switch. I like to go back and forth. It's just like a balance. Just like when I'm having sex, you know, do you like love making or do you like it rough? I like both. Like, Same. it has to be a balance. both. Yeah, a balance of it's both. It's giving the Libra scale, y'all. Mm-hmm. I just, I don't know. I don't, could I be with someone? I, I don't know. I don't, and I don't know what that block is. Maybe I, I, I don't know. I've never been in that situation to where like the person I was with was like, I want you to peg me. I ain't gonna hold you. The niggas that I be pegging out here in LA, if I ain't got my strap, I don't even want to see him. What are we doing? <laughs> Fuck, fucking regular? No, nope, I'll right. pass. Uh, the other tip I need you to give the people. Oh yeah, fuck it. I literally love no, pass. I didn't know. And Wait, do you have just the dudes fucking, that you peg? Do you fuck them? Yeah, you fuck them too. No. Mm. Oh, you don't. No. Oh. I guess it's that's like the dom the dominance thing. They don't even get to fuck you and you don't fuck their asshole? They usually don't. Oh, they just want to They take usually it. don't like they come too fast for like to ever get to the pussy. You know what I mean? That's Do you where they come to? Yes, from just like friction and just like being turned on and mentally Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's. I would be leaking never down my leg with my ex when I would like strap up. Like, oh, how do you come if you can't feel it? like the friction? Does it? I feel like people just don't like aren't comfortable enough to like go there with themselves. Well, because mentally, if there's any shame or you're questioning right. why you're enjoying something, right. you're not going to be able to enjoy the moment of just being in it. And we say it all the time: like, sex is way more psychological oh, than, yeah. than physical. Yeah. So the fact that you said you came and orgasmed every scene you've done is because you're going in there and on a psychological level you're going in there to even, come even if it wasn't like let's say it was like a guy that I'm not very attracted to I find one thing about that person that I am attracted to and I get off off that and if there's nothing I get off on the fact that he would never be able to fuck me if it wasn't for this scene. And ooh. then I get off on that. Like, ooh, okay, I'm like fucking this dude because, you know, I'm I'm that getting, bitch. That's exactly I just I'm um, getting paid for it. But I went like, to a brothel and they said that. Mustang ranch. All the girls, I'm like, how do you feel when a dude comes in? A lot of truckers come in there, yeah. stuff like that. How do you feel? I'm like, I could imagine. They were like, one right. thing, you find one thing. 
You find so, one what, thing. What's the, what's the strangest thing you thought someone was very unattractive? What's the one thing that you actually found attractive? Like, was it a kneecap? Was it an ankle? I need to know what's the strangest thing you thought was was that on somebody <sighs> that could turn you on. That I wouldn't have thought? Yeah. He would, I, And I don't even like chest hair, but he was like older and he had chest hair. But it was like kind of sexy on him. <laughs> oh, like you know what I mean? So that, I guess, that was like the weirdest thing, really, because I don't like chess hair. And he was just, he was old and just, I'm like, you need to retire, bro. Like, why are you still shooting? But like, it wasn't gross or anything, but it was just like, not what I wanted to go to set. Did you do. ever like fangirl over someone you fucked? Like, you were like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm shooting with them today. Never. What about I, I fangirled about girls I didn't get to shoot with. You know mm. what I mean? Like, like who? When I was on set with like Stormy Daniels and she was like, I was like, oh, okay. Huh. Um, what is her name? I can't. Tara Patrick. When I met Tara Patrick. Why do I think I know that name? I remember her. She was more movies. like the Jenna Jameson era. Yeah, era. Um, I think she was like Hawaiian, some type of Asian. But I like Asian women. What about co so. competitive fucking? Had you ever been on set and a girl was trying to like out fuck you or some shit? Oh, yeah. Those are the best scenes. Those are the best <laughs> scenes are the, where they be want, trying to like you know what's crazy? outdo you. and your in, in, in regular threesomes, that doesn't really work. Bitches get upset. Nah, it usually ends in a fight. <laughs> yeah, no, literally. So wait, those are the best sets though for porn? For like, porn, yeah. Because it's fun to, for y'all to out fuck each other? Well, I know, because like, you're performing. Yeah, because you're performing. So it's like, okay, bitch, I'm going to do this. Oh, you do that. Oh, okay. And it's like kind of back and forth. Like, let's make this the best, craziest. The battle on what race. about fighting? You ever gotten like an argument on set? On set? You know, Ooh. Mandingo made me cry what? on set. And I almost, I was, this, I almost walked off set. Wow. I'm Pisces. I'm, a sens I'm sensitive, right? And I was still young. Like, I was... This is the beginning of my career. I don't even think I had my boobs yet. I was still young. And he's kind of like had this arrogant kind of like asshole like demeanor. And I don't remember what I was doing. I was in one of the rooms getting dressed. And he comes in there, doesn't even introduce himself, just comes in there, looks at me up and down. And he's like, you're ashy. You need to put some lotion on. <laughs> and I was just like. He did that before the shoot? Before the shoot. And I got to shoot with you. Like, oh, he's God. the director and the talent. So it was like I was having a morning. So, like, that just set me off. And I started crying. I was like, I'm leaving. I don't got to take this shit. I don't need this money. Like, did one of those. And I was leaving out the door. And he came. And he's like, he didn't think he did nothing wrong. He was just, it was like the way he said it and how he said it. No, I didn't mean it like that. I was just saying, like, I wasn't done getting ready. Like, I know what I got to do. Like, I know I got to lotion up or ba whatever, baby oil. And like, he apologized, whatever. And we he ended up, the show, yeah, the and it scene? was, and the scene was good. It was a good scene. You would have never knew that I was crying before it. And we shoot after that. And like, he apologized and everything. And he is kind of an asshole, but. <laughs> you know what I really want to know about? It ended up being fine. That era of ghetto gaggers and that really rough, crazy. Yeah, like, I never did boy. that, but I have done very rough scenes. What was like the most rough? Um, a dude made me throw up. Threw up, like threw up I my like lunch. <laughs> Not threw up your lunch. Wait, it was chunky. <laughs> yeah, it was, I think and it was they kept like it on spaghetti. Camera. Did they keep it on camera? Not spaghetti. <laughs> did they keep it on camera? I think they did. It's hard for me now. Like back then I used to love watching my scenes, right? Because I just wanted to see, like I really wanted to like perfect my craft. So I would like to watch like, Why oh, not? No. I'd be like, okay, oh no, don't do make that face. Or oh, do don't do that again. Or oh, like do, you know, to see what to do, do yeah, anything? and not whatever. But um, yeah, I can't really watch my scenes. Like it's kind of cringy for me to watch now. Like, ooh! I was just such a whore. <laughs> not, that I'm, not that I'm not no. still that way, but it's just like, oh my God, I was... What do you do now? Uh, Really just OnlyFans. I sell my panties, you know, stuff like that. How you sell your panties? Yeah. Wait, do you you find them on OnlyFans? What? Like the... Pit people to sell my panties? Yeah, how do you find stuff like that? Like, um, Yeah, they have websites where you can go and... We found some before. Yeah. Yeah. And how, what's Or the people most, will hit me up too. What's the too. most money you've gotten for a pair of panties? Um, 
I mean, not that much. Maybe like three hundred dollars. That's a not lot for not that room. much. I mean, I'm just tennis costs like six. You exactly inflated ten dollars. Thing, you know oh yeah. I mean, I mean it's different. To wear them. It depends what they want. You know what? What's the weirdest like thing that they've asked for? Um, like what? Gym they, is, I think, a normal one. Yeah, gym is normal. They like you to pee in them. They want you to pee. And I'm just, I'm like, I don't like. Sometimes they want like multiple days, which is nasty, right? Who wants to wear? Who the, wants to do that? Bitch, yeah. you got a pH, you right. got to protect, right? So, um, just like, or sometimes they want you to, um, which I haven't sold any like this, but they ask, but they want you to like have sex in them or wear them while you were on your period. Or everyone has a different fetish, girl. Wow, everybody, there's so many fetishes. Wow, that you wear them on your period. Well, wear them on your. I guess because like the aroma. Is different. It is different. Yeah. It's different. So they, they, I don't know. Dead so they have blood on them or no? I, like I said, I've never sold any yeah. like that. Ooh, but Why did that make me? <laughs> well, and, 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 and because we're talking kinks and all those things before we get to our whole mail, the whole thing, horrible decision was, was talking about just you and all of the greatness. But we had to talk about these titties. Oh, so for all of yes, our my... big titty <laughs> listeners, for the big titty hoes, we need to talk about a tip for the ladies and how to titty fuck, what to do with them sometimes during sex, ways in which that you can use them as an asset. Well, first you got to have some titties. First, period. <laughs> That's why we're talking to only the big titties. I remember um, you're, you were so tiny and, and they were so, were so big. big. Yeah, I know. I was just now like... Now it when feels I, like it fits. Well, maybe I'm just looking at you in person. I, I've definitely no. I've definitely got like Filled my out. grow. Yeah, I got my grown woman way. You know, I'm, I'm old, I grew up. But so. I remember like, damn. No, I was a twig girl. Like, a what was I thinking? Getting all them big ass tits. Like, I was like, give me the biggest tits you got. Like, That's literally. Well, yeah. How much did you weigh too? back then? I was probably like one ten. Wow. Like, one fifteen. Like, I was definitely considered a spinner. Like, I was little, tiny. So with I was big ass titties. with big huge, old, huge titties. I think they're big now. Like I want to go smaller. Like I really do. Did they grow? Really? No, I actually just got them redone. But it looked I, great. I got. I went. I did the same size. <laughs> but I'm like now. I'm just like I don't know. I'm I'm getting older. So I'm like. What's older? How old are you now? I'm 39. I just turned 39. I feel <laughs> like you got to do a Looking 40. Good as hell. <laughs> A good 40 video. So, yeah. What's yeah, a we good 40 buy- video? I'm saying like for your 40th birthday, give us a bang. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've, thought about, <laughs> I've thought about it. I've thought about it. I've thought about it. I'm 40 people. <laughs> it's you and 40 Imagine? people. 20 bitches, Imagine? 20 niggas. What's up? That would be fun. We'll set it up. That, that reminds fun. me of Pinky's videos. Oh, oh yeah. Just the, the or. Oh, no. I have done an orgy. See what I mean? Not but, you forgetting but the, an the orgy. An orgy is different because it's not like it's... But no, no, no. It wasn't really an orgy like that because it was more like a bunch of coupled up, like... Oh, couple, I remember, it it just, It's giving sex club. Yeah. Like, it was okay. a bunch of couples. I remember you said that. It was a dining room scene. It was like, we're all sitting, I don't know, and then it was just like, we all coupled off. So, I don't know if that's... It's not really no, an that orgy. Really, no, that's group sex. That's, that's, that's group sex. That's group oh, sex. yeah. Okay, so, titty fuck tip. Um... It has to be very wet. Like what if you're using lube or spit? Personally, I rather use lube because I don't like sometimes the smell of spit, spit. I and it gets too sticky. But you gotta like push them together, <laughs> and you sometimes they're not gonna always stay. So me, a trick that I do is like I use the hands right here to keep them, and they just it works really good. I where swear to God, when you did to- that, it looks so porn star. <laughs> You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, like, I hope you got you the clue. Because I was like, <laughs> they look up like, yeah. And then you know, it just you learn ch- just from doing it for so long. I don't really like my titties being fucked, but so what did you buy them for? For them, they like it, you know. Personally, <laughs> do for you, no, I don't. I don't like my titties being fucked. It's, I mean, I guess it's kind of hot. Like, ooh, yeah, eh, but I, it does nothing for me. No. It doesn't. So what is like the position? It. Are they are they fucking down or do they sit on your stomach and fuck up? Like, what is the best position for a man to get the titty fuck? Well, right? if they were fucking from this angle down, you'd have to be hanging off the bed. Ah, uh, head hanging off the bed, and then you know, usually Love guys, rush. usually guys just come from missionary and just come Stick. up. You know, they just come and bring. Do you suck the dick at the same time? Yes, if it's big <laughs> enough. Yo, I if it's big. Big. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I'm like, oh, yes, if it's big average, enough. Like, you like, if I get lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Um, not the average. What about <laughs> foot stuff? Because you got really good feet. Thank you. And I um, wonder, you said. I got a really good arch, too. For you know, if they it, like yeah, it, your, your if, nice. if they like it. Do you have any nose where you're like, this is never going to happen? You know what my nose used to be on set? No fingers. I, like I didn't have fingers. a lot of nose. I didn't have a lot of nose, which a lot of girls, no spitting, no this, no that, no no calling me a certain name. No, I didn't have a lot of nose, but I no, uh, no fingers inside Why, my vagina. You like the feeling or you just, their hands are dirty? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I, and like, yeah, usually I didn't like a lot of... They don't know how to finger Even correctly. Even with women, I don't necessarily... Yeah, they don't right. finger correctly. <laughs> Bitch, I come right. <laughs> That's why I was looking at your you, fingers like, girl, what we finna do with you? What you know, you know, you know I'm not fingering nobody. <laughs> you know? Oh, okay. Give him another. That's what toys, <laughs> that's what toys are for. Oh, I'll do she a little said, spin. I, I bring the toy. Uh. All right, well, before we get out of here, you brought up gynecologists. Oh, yeah. Ironically, our home mail this week is someone who has a crush on their gynecologist. Oh, That's give it up, honey. Hi, Weezy and Mandy. I love the both of you so much. You definitely helped open my mind to exploring my sexuality. You inspire women to speak freely about sex and kink shamelessly. I'm 34 from the Caribbean, okay. and I'm a well-known athlete in my region and in the country I represent. Hence why I want a fake name. I ain't even saying your name, sis. <laughs> I haven't been able to truly explore women like I want to because I don't know how to approach women. My gaydar is broken, and I'm kind of afraid of rejection. Now for the real tea. I found a new gynecologist in my area. Oh, wait. She's a woman? This is a woman. <laughs> oh. She's black and fucking fine. I went in there and was very turned on by her during my annual checkup. Does she live in L.A.? She says she's Caribbean. Caribbean. So oh. maybe in the islands? I got a cute black L.A. gynecologist. <laughs> um, her soft touch did it for me. She was very professional throughout the whole procedure. I felt like a sick fuck, but I couldn't help but being attracted to her and how my body reacted. She is very attractive and what I would describe as my type of woman. Athletic and a mix between tomboyish and girly, like Tiana Taylor. I also felt some chemistry between us. Bitch, just because she was in your pussy don't mean there was chemistry. She felt the chemistry right? because but she like her. That's, I know. You know that, what I mean? I feel so embarrassed. Be, hold on. Her next line. Maybe I'm delusional. <laughs> Bitches, Slightly. we are the same age, and she okay. You giving a lot of details. I ain't gonna say that. Maybe, well, let me see. No, I'm not gonna say because I don't want to give all these details about right. someone. Right. You know, maybe I'm reaching, but I feel we got a few things in common. I feel crazy and delusional for this, but I don't normally like people this much and never ever go after anyone. Is this person normally gay? No, she said that. No, she oh, said, girl, you yeah. just need to yeah. fuck a girl. So That's she's it. like, I've been single for five years and sex sexless for three. Well, you know, in in the Caribbean too, that's frowned upon. It's frowned upon. Yeah. That's all this is. It's not the gynecologist, bro. <laughs> so you just got to get said, some pussy. Dating is the ghetto where I live. Men are trash. Something's got to change. So my question is. Should I try to see what's up with my gynecologist? No. Should I reach out on a no. personal level or no. should I leave it and keep it professional? Absolutely Thanks not. Thanks for reading. <laughs> if you just want to be a sick fuck and enjoy the kink of like, ooh, I like, but... Fantasize. Yeah, fa leave it as a fantasy and keep it moving. Honestly, a black woman gynecologist is a unicorn. A black woman therapist is a fucking unicorn. A black yeah. woman doctor is a unicorn. Do not fuck this shit up. Don't shit. <laughs> Where you eat. Right. Where Nobody eat. wants to be Don't doctors anymore. They all want to be OnlyFans and porn stars. <laughs> Nobody wants to be like, what? No one, where are the doctors? I mean, but this where could the be Lord? then where to, again, if we're talking about a solution here, what you could do is, is masturbate. Is, huh? Well, not only masturbate, but if maybe you're scared of rejection, maybe go to a sex worker and literally request that you role play that this person is your gynecologist. Ugh. So pay to role play with a sex worker to maybe fulfill this fantasy that you have. Instead I don't of think it's a fantasy. It's her. Well, at this point. Because it doesn't sound it, like a gyno but, fantasy. Okay, but now maybe act or like. Golf? She's been sexless for three years. Did everybody forget that? She did. And Somebody she's went in your pussy. her in play. Yeah. And, oh, and maybe it could just be that the right. gyno. She's touching. aroused and she's also attracted. Not that uh -huh. I've I've been attracted to my doctors before, but it's like that's where it stops. Like, okay, he's cute. No, oh, <laughs> like you know, I'm like all right. Maybe but... you need to get on Tinder. That's all. <laughs> or her. Find or a look alike. Ooh, Those are easy. It's you know, easy find a look alike. Everybody got a look alike. Yeah, find a look alike. Imagine well, if you hit on your gyno and she's like. 
No. Okay, so be like, next time you go see and your now you gotta go if she got a sister. Now you gotta switch. Now you, you gotta keep finding problems yeah. to go back to the bitch. <laughs> oh, bitch, I ain't gonna lie. I got a massage, a masseuse nigga right now out of Brooklyn. I ain't gonna tell y'all where he's at. My pussy had never got so wet and there was no happy ending. But literally, was he one of those Instagram guys? No, he's oh. not. No, no, no. This was a real like. This oh, was, a real this masseuse. Was a, this was a real like. I go to a few bath houses. Was he black? In New York. I ain't gonna hold you. Latin, Armenian, exotic. I don't know what the fuck he was. He could have been white with a tan. I don't know. But he wasn't black. <laughs> and when I tell you, I had never been massaged or stretched outside of I mean, my, I, 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 so many. I had a soulmate. I had a partner who did it great. This man, bitch, was lifting my legs. I felt almost embarrassed. Bitch, I was leaking down my thighs. Oh my goodness. And he said, thank you for allowing me to experience this journey with you. He knew what he was doing. I know it looked like spit between my legs. When he was stretching them, I was so wet. I was embarrassed. I said, ooh, bitch, if you don't stop. I was talking to her that's in my how, head. That's how said, dangerous. No, I'm not going to lie. That's how oh, dangerous. I said, I see you want some what? Nigga, I tipped him 35%. I know that the people thought something happened. I tipped him 35% and it was a $200 massage. I know they're like... $200 massage. Bitch, it was worth Well, because it came with the full bathhouse experience. I got to do um, the whole day. You could see. Yeah, that like, sounds about right. Full, like, I mean, him. I've heard oh, no. I've heard that happening before. He, Someone massaging you, hitting you <gasps> all your... Yeah, I've heard of <gasps> that, but... <gasps> I kind of want to share them at this point. I don't already told someone. You need to feel this. No, no, no. I go, we need you to book need an appointment. To, I want you to experience it so we can come on and talk about it. It could go on the business. This is how bad you need to experience it. We could make this an experience. I mean, it's okay. been a minute, no, but. It was, no, it was so Not good. Not a bathhouse whole day. It was so good. Watch y'all go peg. <laughs> oh, no, I'm single we now. Meet I'm at the, an appointment. No, no, no. We, y'all go peg and we meet at the spa to get massaged by this nigga and debrief. <laughs> we could do it. We could. That would be fun. New York, girl. You know, I want to come next month. Well, I'm going to try to make you go on vacation with me. We'll talk about it. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm like, all right. Yeah, <laughs> Here we go. Sorry, don't do this. It's not like we haven't been in the same place hello. at the same time. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, no, no. We just ran into each other in Dubai. Who the fuck runs it? Literally, house. <laughs> <laughs> I was not there to be a hoe. Hold on, wait. I was, we, Neither was I. No. Neither was she I. Was I was there to just I'll take a my break. Boo. This was last year. Okay. And, and fucking, <laughs> this bitch comes up to me like, Mandy, I said, bitch. She's going <laughs> up the escalator, right? Because she got off the plane before me. She's going up the and escalator. Like, I look up and I'm like, is that Mandy's ass? And my dude, like, what? I'm like, that looks like Mandy's oh. ass. I get, I'm like, Mandy? <laughs> She's like, ah. I'm like, yes, said, you. What you doing That's here? crazy. I said, you going to be in Abu Dhabi? Come pull up on me in Abu Dhabi. <laughs> no, well, it was literally crazy. Well, tell people today how they can support you. What is the yes. way to get Havana Ginger paid? Um, mm. What's your favorite way to collect? My OnlyFans. My OnlyFans. All my links are on my Instagram, in my bio. So anything I'm doing. Or the description there. of this episode. We're going to put the links in that thing. <laughs> we will. But yeah, that's and how. then where can they follow you on social media? Cuban Muffin. Mm. All my links are there. So all my Twitter, this, that, what it's on my Instagram. Cuban Muffin. Boom. Word. We're gonna put it Boom. there. We are gonna put that in there. Hope that you guys enjoyed our episode with the Havana Ginger. Thanks Hello. For having me. Dad, I'm like, girl, <laughs> I feel like I've been trying to get you on this thing for, know, for a like minute. Long over more than a year. And I've been telling her, I was like, I, asked I know Mandy when I saw her post you one day, I'm like, um, yeah, um <laughs> She's like, uh, can she go to the podcast? So, yeah, um, I'm sure she's great. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, make sure you support us on our Patreon. That's patreon.com backslash horrible decisions. They took off the goddamn 18 plus motherfucking thing that was keeping us away oh. from y'all finding us. So y'all should be able to find us much more easier. We are dropping all these great things. We do town hall once a month. There's bonus episodes. We did an Ask Mandy, Ask Wheezy. There's some mukbang shit that we done did I just have to say it like that don't do me I know mukbang mukbang so, just what? go see us on tour before we Why get canceled can't I have a goddamn accent but you can also make sure you go to <laughs> whorehive.com and get your tour tickets hunty we are at 17 cities and once again this is gonna be some of y'all's last time to see us motherfucking on stage busting these pussies wide open, okay? <laughs> well, I don't that, know if we're doing that. You be busting your pussy <laughs> open. No? Okay. Well, she will this time, y'all. If you want to come will. see Wheezy bust her pussy wide I'll open. I'll open it up. 
<laughs> you know, and you know what? We kept the ticket prices pretty much the same. So you're welcome. There you go. You're welcome. Make sure you also add on the meet and greet experience. We are not adding any more tickets to those. So we are only keeping that open. Oh, we're adding 15. Boston. We added Boston, right? By now, yes. Boston has been added. All right, you're welcome. Y'all niggas berated us Boston. in the fucking Boston. comments. Boston. Boston. <laughs> they were like, what the fuck? I don't know. They was mad. And I ain't Boston told got you. some cuties. Yeah, but we forgot about them niggas. We oh, you like white guys. That's why. Oh, yeah, that's why you like it. You like <laughs> we, need to, we need to get Havana with Vinny. Because <laughs> Vinny likes white guys too. Oh, yeah. I and he have, lives in Boston. We have a lot of other things in common. Not that. <laughs> um, anyways, guys, again, go to whorehive.com and get your tickets now. Havana, thank you so much for joining thank us. You. And thank this you. has been yet another episode of Horrible. This is Yons. Bye. Peace. Bye.